everybody. Good morning. How are you? Are you fine? Okay. Today I am here with a new topic of the chapter life processes. We already learned digestion and respiration. Now what is next? Before going to the topic, I want to ask you some questions. How the nutrients reach each and every cell of the body? How the oxygen collected in the lungs during breathing reach each and every cell of the body? How the waste materials are transported? So, all these processes are done with the help of a system in our body that is transportation. So, transportation is very important. It is an important life process. So, today we will discuss about the transportation in human beings. Okay. The important parts of transportation system in our body. These materials are transported. So, there should be a fluid. That fluid is nothing but blood. Blood is one of the major components of transportation system. The second thing. There should be an organ that pumps the blood. Which is the muscular organ? It is heart. Heart is the second component. And how this or through which this blood passes? It passes through tubes. The tubes are known as blood vessels. Okay. So, which are the three components of transportation system? Blood, heart and blood vessels. Okay. Now let us study one by one. First we can go to blood. Blood you know you will learn in 9 class it is a fluid connective tissue. Okay. It has two parts. One fluid part called plasma and it has certain formed elements. Some cells are there. That is these include RBC, WBC and platelets. So, actually a lot of things are there related to blood. I am not going in detail because in your cells or in your level, the basic idea is sufficient. And if you want to know more about blood, then without thinking, just to take biology as your optional subject in class 11, then you will get more knowledge. Okay? Now, this class part is a fluid part. So, this most major part of the uh, plasma is water. It helps to transport the substance. And the cells are RBC, WBC, platelets. What is the role of RBC? It helps to transport oxygen. It helps to transport oxygen. Because the respiratory pigment, hemoglobin is present in the RBC. It is red in color. That is red, red or a cell. Now, WBC. It is white blood corpuscle. Okay. It helps to fight against infectious agents. These are the soldiers in our body. It helps to fight against infections. Fight against infectious agents. Infectious agents. Okay. Now, platelets. These are another components of the blood. That helps to clot the blood. Clot the blood. Clotting means during injury, you know, blood may ooze out. We lose the blood. So, in normal cases, platelets help to coagulate or clot the blood. So, the unnecessary bleeding can be stopped. Okay, it is very important in your exam also the role of platelets in our body. What is its role? It helps to clog the blood. Okay, clear? So, these are the parts of blood. It helps to transport the substances. Now, we can move to the next important component that is heart. Heart is so important, you all know. Heart is that much important. Important in our life as well as in our exam also. It is very important and the diagram also. Okay, now let's study the structure of heart.
I am drawing the diagram in the NCRT textbook. One diagram is given. Some students may feel it very difficult to draw this diagram. So, in such case, you can draw like this. Okay. Okay, this is known as pulmonary vein. 
Then also collect blood from the. It is pulmonary. The word pulmonary related to lungs. So this pulmonary vein collects blood from lungs. Okay. But it is oxygenated. Because you know lungs is the storehouse of oxygen. So oxygenated blood reaches the left atria through pulmonary vein. Okay. Now there is an artery called from the it arises from the right ventricle. Just look from where it starts. It originates from the right ventricle. It originates from the right ventricle. And when it reaches here, it divides into two branches. It is going towards the lungs. We have two lungs. It is placed on either side of the heart. So this pulmonary artery, this is known as the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery okay so pulmonary artery collect the blood from right ventricle and it divides into two branches and goes to each lungs okay now there is another blood vessel which is the largest artery This is the largest artery that is known as the aorta. This largest artery is known as the aorta. It originates from the left ventricle. From where it starts? It starts from left ventricle. And it gives blood to all parts of the body. So, the blood vessels related to heart are to vena cava, it gives blood to the right atrium. It opens into right atrium. Now, pulmonary artery, it carries blood from right atrium, sorry, right ventricle to lungs. Then, pulmonary vein carries blood from lungs to left atrium. And iota which carry blood from left ventricle to all parts of the body. Okay. Apart from this, here you can see a small structure. Because you know the blood collected in the atrium. Here in the both side. There is an opening so the blood can easily flow into the ventricle. And it should be regulated. The flow should be in one direction. To regulate the flow of blood only in one direction, there is a structure and that structure is known as valve. Here it is the tricuspid valve. What is it called? Tricuspid valve. It is present on the right side. And here also you can see a valve and it is known as the bicuspid valve. It is present on the left side. It is very important. The function of valve. What is the function? It allows the blood to flow in one direction. It prevents the counter flow. It allows the blood in one direction only. It prevents the counter flow. And the heart is covered with, protected by a membrane that is known as pericardial membrane or pericardium. It is known as pericardium. Okay. And it is muscular, I told. Here the walls you can see is thin compared to ventricle. Ventricular valves are thick. Okay. So that is about the structure of heart. So first we study up to this the transportation in human beings. First we come on and red we already discussed that heart. So in the next class I will uh, teach you how the circulation, how the blood flows in different parts of the body and how the deoxygenated blood is collected to the heart. The circulation you can study in the next class. Before that clearly study these things. Okay. Thank you.